Hi Pisces, I hope you guys are doing really well. Welcome in you guys, this is the Connected Conduit. Please excuse my voice, it is strained. I'm a little bit under the weather, so I'm gonna try to fudge my way through a reading for you. <clears throat> I'm gonna do my best, but I may be coughing every once in a while. <laughs> Hopefully not. <clears throat> okay Pisces, this is a timeless reading for you. As I feel into your energy, I'm actually getting a really excited vibe. I feel like the Two of Cups energy for you. I feel a soulmate, best friend, business partnership coming in for you. Somebody that's very sweet and is going to make you very happy. Transformation, the death card. It's a number 13. This is all about major change. Could be a Scorpio. We have 12, Sacrifice. Pisces, this is your energy. The hangman. Interesting. So you have somebody coming towards you who has a different mindset when it comes to you. They see you differently. Their opinion, their view of you has totally shifted. This is somebody who has been distanced. They've been distant from you. They, you haven't heard from them in a while. This could, have, could be somebody from your past. Somebody that you've taken a break from. So for some of you, you were in a relationship with this person and then you decided to take a break. And during the separation, the time apart, they've realized something about you here, Pisces. Yeah, 20, truth, judgment. This is big. Wow, Pisces, you almost have all major arcana. Four out of five. This is the chariot energy. This is somebody realizing something about you and then coming in. Coming in for a victory. Fulfillment of wishes. It's a number nine. Oh, it's so clear. I love it when readings are like this. <clears throat> so Pisces, you have somebody who you took a break from, or you guys went your separate ways for a little while, or you just haven't heard from this person. They've been quiet. And in this period, they've been changing, growing, transforming, seeing you in a different light and what they've realized is you are their wish fulfillment you are their nine of cups okay let me pull on it What is changing here? What is transforming? Show us the change. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They see your worth, Pisces. They see your worth. They see that you're stable, grounded, loyal, honest. Page of Wands. This is somebody who wants a fresh start with you, a new beginning. I feel that this person might come in and speak their truth to you with the Page of Wands. This is a message, news coming in. And I literally split the deck on the Ace of Swords, Pisces. This is somebody who's getting ready to communicate their truth to you. Show us this shift in perspective. The Nine of Swords. This person has been stressing up all night. This separation has been very difficult. The Six of Swords. This person wants to make peace. They may need to apologize for something.
this person may have needed to move away from a situation and until they moved away from a person, place, or thing, you refused to be with them. That's for some of you. Yeah, look what came out. The Ten of Swords. I'm telling you, you can't make it up. Pisces, for some of you, you told this person you need to put a final end to a person, like a relationship or a, a behavior. Something that was standing in your way. Something that was preventing you guys from having a happy, stable relationship. You said, listen, that's got to go. If we're going to be together, you need to let go of whatever, whatever it is, okay? <clears throat> yeah, judgment. Somebody needed a wake-up call here. This silence, this break has woken your person up to a massive truth, to a massive realization about their life and about you. What is this decision? Because we have judgment out here twice. Judgment is a huge card, you guys. I mean, judgment is about your life never looking the same. It's about using discernment in order to make the best decision. It can also represent reconciliation, communication. Nine of Cups, again. Pisces, we have the Nine of Cups out twice. This person has realized that you are their wish fulfillment. This reading is very straightforward and easy to read. It's not complicated whatsoever. So it's probably going to be a short one. <clears throat> but it's probably better that way because my voice is suffering. So um, Ace of Pentacles, this person doesn't want this opportunity with you to pass them by they have an offer for you six of cups oh my goodness this person wants a second chance with you this is past life soulmate so you guys are past life soulmates for sure this could be somebody from your childhood from your past they could have kids you could have kids you could be a single mom or a single dad. But I feel like they've realized you feel like home to them. Like being with you feels so good. It's warm, comforting, nurturing, being around you. This person really feels safe with you. I'm, I'm really picking that up. They could have also realized some truth about the past. Okay, so if you guys have a long history together and they've been thinking about the time that you've spent together, they're feeling... Like a lot of things are coming up. A lot of truths are being revealed at this time to this person. And whether, you know, those are good or bad, I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you. So they could just be realizing, you know, the role that they played in the relationship. And <clears throat> maybe there's a need for an apology here. The Two of Pentacles. This person could have kept you waiting or they could have been up and down about this decision, about moving forward. This person could have had two options, juggling you. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is all about divine timing. And sometimes we're on the top of the wheel, sometimes we're on the bottom, sometimes we're on the top of the world. Sometimes we're getting not so great karma. I feel like this person has been going through karma. <clears throat> For some of you, what I'm getting is in a past life, this happened. Like this exact scenario happened where this person had to choose. And I feel like for many of you in the past life, they did not choose you. And there's this, this wounding that has carried over into this lifetime. Okay, that's very specific. And in this lifetime, this person needs to make it right with you. They need to make it right. In this lifetime, it's time for them to clear that karma. The hangman. 
<clears throat> That's unbelievable, you guys. We have the hangman on fulfillment of wishes. This is your person realizing that you are their wish fulfillment. I mean, it just, the same messages keep coming out. Okay, so what's, um, is there anything blocking this connection other than the need for this person to let it go of something? Like, have they let it go? Why don't we just ask that? Have they let whatever they need to let go, go? Have they done the work? Nine of Pentacles. Well, if they needed to get single, it's looking like they're single. So if there were other people in the mix, that's no longer an issue. And with the Ace of Swords here, this is truth, clarity, honesty. So yes, this person has done the work, okay? This person has released whatever they need to release in order to be with you. That could even be low self-esteem, right? But for many of you, this person could have been in another connection and they needed, like they had two, two people to choose from and they had to let one of the, either you or the other person go. And it's looking like they're single and they've done the work for you and they're ready to come in with an offer with the Ace of Pentacles. So... What is the near future outcome for Pisces here and this and this person? What's the near future outcome? The near future potential outcome. Oh, the Knight of Cups, Pisces. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This person or you is getting ready to open up and express your feelings. You guys are going to be following your heart. This is a romantic offer. This is an expression of love. Page of Swords. So this is communication that comes in, but it is delayed. It's delayed because this person had some work to do. So there is going to be movement forward here once this person finalizes a decision, which I feel they have. But maybe for some of them, they're on the brink. They're still needing to figure that out. It's looking very promising, though. What is meant to be will be, right? So I feel like you're not nervous about this at all. You're very stable. You're abundant. You've got your own things going on. You know your worth. But this person needed to see your worth. And I feel that they do. And they've been really hanging on to these deep feelings for you for some time, wanting to express them to you. Um... But there's fear here with the moon. There's fear here, okay? So this person has to learn to fight for you, to fight for this connection, to put in the effort. And this is part of this person's karmic lessons. They need to learn to understand that they deserve love, to feel worthy of a great love, to let go of the necessary things that they need to let go of in order to have it and then go after it okay that's like this person's lessons um all all you need to do Pisces is like <laughs> I don't want to say sit and look pretty because that sounds awful and derogatory <laughs> but that's what's coming through all you need to do is sit and look pretty <laughs> with the queen of pentacles energy here like you're doing just fine um, you're a hard worker, you're doing everything right, you've got it going on, I feel like you've got your ish together, your ducks in a row, and you just need to keep doing you, and that's what's magnetizing this person back to you, um, you know, by loving yourself first, putting yourself first, and not giving out a desperate, needy, clingy energy at all, you're just like, da da da, going about your life, and being happy, and that's what's pulling this person back to you because that energy is magnetic they want to be around you they miss that what does this person want to say to you right here right now king of pentacles <gasps> pisces with the six of wands on the bottom they want commitment they they know you guys belong together they see you as their match their partner 
Look at that, King and Queen of Pentacles. We've got a match. They see you as somebody who would have their back, somebody they could rely on, depend on, count on. You're good with your money. You're very, I mean, you're smart and you're intelligent and you're complex, but you're also very simple in the way that you're not high maintenance. You don't need a lot. Like you're somebody who appreciates the small things in life. Do you know what I mean? This person just wants to take care of you and lavish you. We have the world here. They're coming to see you. So if you guys are at a distance, they're coming to see you. They want a whole new chapter with you, a whole new level. There's the two of cups energy that I was feeling. They're coming. They want this connection. So Pisces, prepare for communication. It's just been delayed because this person had to work through fears. They had to let some stuff go. They had to see this situation differently and being away from you, being apart. Okay, absence makes the heart grow fonder. And in this case, that's exactly what's happened. Absence made their heart grow fonder. In the separation period, they realized just how much they love you. Just how amazing you are, okay? That's so beautiful. Yeah, they had time to reflect. Seven of Pentacles. They had time to review and think about things. You are bliss, completion, everything. Okay. Seven of Wands. This is wanting to come in and fight for the connection. Move things forward with the chariot. This person has something to say. They've been holding back for a while. So, yeah, get prepared for communication here with the Page of Wands. It's just a little bit delayed, but it's coming in. Okay, let's get some Romance Angels for you, Pisces. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. This is your person's energy realizing in separation that they've already met the romantic partner that they desire and it's you okay chemistry yes so i was talking about that earlier that your energy is magnetic pisces they are being drawn to you because you are so high vibe and you have no drama associated you know you're just like a good all-around wholesome man or woman okay or whatever you are <laughs> a human being okay there's a strong magnetic attraction here getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens yes you guys are going to be getting together having great conversations. Like I told you, this person really is getting ready and prepared to open up to you and express their feelings. And when they do that, it's going to take the connection to the next level when they show some vulnerability here. And look, we have you deserve love. This person was away learning that they are worthy of a great love like you. Okay? So... Pisces. Amazing reading. Very straightforward, very clear. There's no drama here. And I feel that's very resonant to your connection. Okay, it's very clear. It's very obvious. You both know exactly who you are and, and what you want right now. The only thing standing in, in the way is this person needing to say what they need to say, speak from the heart and let you know about big changes that they've made in their life and the fact that they see things differently now and they want to get on the same page with you so pisces this is what i have for you i hope you found this helpful if you did please like share subscribe if you're new i would love to have you all the good vibes and i'll see you in the next one bye